Well, we have another video by, or I'm gonna make another video, and it is the 100 greatest drummers of all time, or yeah, all time I believe. Yeah, 100 greatest drummers of all time. This is talking about the most influential one, the the most greatest, the most technical ones, the, the ones that can play with the most feel. Well, can drummers play with feel? Yeah, I guess kind of a bit slower in part, but. Um, but yeah, I'm anticipated for this list. I, I love drumming. Um, well, I don't drum, but I love drummers in general. I love the just how fast you can play, how uh, technical, how um, yeah, just ju just how complex you can drum stuff like that. How it works with the other music. It really uh, gives an extra punch to it. So I actually really like uh, drumming. Or I, I, I like just drummers in general, I don't drum myself, but there we are. But yeah, this, um, yeah of, of course you're gonna have the obvious ones, the, the John Bonhams and the Keith Moons, stuff like that. that that's gonna be the top two right there. Um, I think Danny Carey is gonna be on the list from Tool. Well, probably don't because Tool isn't really popular by Rolling Stone, but... Um, Martin Loper, Martin Loper from Opeth, Colin Edwin from Pork Country. Great drummers, uh, technical and play with a lot of feel, so they should be on the list. Danny Carey is just face melting. Uh, Mike Portnoy, if he isn't on the list, he has won several drum awards, so Rolling Stone must know him. He is great, so he should be on this list. Uh, Dave Lombardo from Slayer. Although I'm not the biggest fan of Slayer, Dave Lombardo is a beast. Mm, some more classic drummers. A uh, Ringo Starr. Yeah, Ringo Starr's probably gonna be on this list, but uh, I mean he's just alright, I think. Um, mm, yeah, the drummer for from Rolling Stone, <laughs> he's probably gonna be number two or something, but because it is Rolling Stone, right? Fucking funny. But we're we're just gonna see what's on the list. Um, yeah, let's just watch it and. Uh, let, let's find out. I, I didn't know what I wanted to reach with that, but there we are. Number one hundred. Uh, yeah, and if and if I know the artist, I'm if I know the drummer, I'm gonna talk about him a bit. If I don't know the drummer, um, yeah, I'm just saying the name, saying the number, and moving on. Otherwise, this would drag on forever. Number one hundred, Christian Vander. Number ninety nine, Travis Barker, from Blink One Eighty Two. No. Number 98 is Steven Adler, and Steven Adler was only on the debut record by Guns N' Roses. Although, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the drummer, I like the Appetite for Destruction record. He, yeah, he, this is actually a pretty perfect place for him because he was on that record, but he wasn't on anything else because he had a lot of drug problems. So, his drumming on Appetite for Destruction was pretty good, but that is where it ends, unfortunately. Number 97 is Cindy Blackman. Number 96 is Larry Mullen Jr. from um, U2. Um, yeah, not really because he is a decent drummer. He he, he can play, he, he can do the skins, but he isn't really technical or something. He doesn't do a lot of stunts. He isn't a John Bonham by far, so um, yeah, he can be on the list. He is iconic with U2, but yeah, his drumming is really safe and repetitive, so not really, but there we are. You have to fill the you have to fill the list for one thing, so and they're they're gonna put you two on this list somehow anyway, so that's fucking watch mojo for you. Watch mojo. Rolling Stone are all they're both shit, so I confuse them a lot. Number ninety five is Chris Dave. Number ninety four is Mac White from the White Stripes, no. She's alright, don't get me wrong, but she's basically Larry Mullen Jr. She plays the same beat over and over again and she can be technical at some point she's mostly the same a drum kit is really um really linear really uh, what, what is the word uh limited it is a really limited drum kit although you can do some amazing stuff with that like uh brand data did with mastodon i hope i hope Ma uh, brand data is going to be on the list but probably not but Mac White is alright, don't get me wrong, but not on the top 100 greatest drummers of all time. It is a good band, don't get me wrong, but yeah, just no. 
Thomas Hawk from Meshuga. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thomas Hawk is one of the most difficult uh, drummers uh, to cover because, I mean, have you listened to Meshuga records? Have you listened to Bleed? Have, have you listened to Rational Gaze? Have you listened to New Millennium Cyanate Cries? Have you listened to those tracks? Then you know Thomas Hawk is a fucking difficult drummer to replicate. So him at number 93 is way too low and if you have listened to his drumming it is incredible and how he can be only number 93 is beyond me. Um, so I'm probably gonna compare everyone to Thomas Hawk from this point on um, except if we're gonna get a better one but better than Thomas, Rock, uh, Thomas Hawk that is gonna be really difficult. Number 92 is Ralph M Molina. Number 91 is Brian Chippendale. I've heard that name. Um, yeah, but they don't say a band or something, so... Yeah, I believe from self-title, but I'm not sure. Don't really care. Number 90 is Janet Wise. Don't know. Uh, number 89 is Bill Stevenson. Number 88 is John Theodore. Number 87 is George Hurley. Number 86 is Phil Rudd. I've heard of the name. The ACDC drummer, um, yeah, if you want to start out, if you want to uh, be a good drummer, you have to start with the basics. Fuck, I clicked away. You, you have to start with the basics, and yeah, you, can get, you can't get more basic than Phil Rudd. Phil Rudd is one of the most, uh, one of the most basic and one of the most easiest drummers to replicate. If, if I said to you that Thomas Hawk is one of the most difficult, then Phil Rudd is definitely one of the most easiest to replicate. And how he can be above Thomas Hawk is beyond me, but he is of course more iconic because he is in the legendary ACDC. But we we're talking about the 100 greatest drummers of all time, so Thomas Hawk fucking destroys Phil Rudd on the kit. But hey, I'm just saying. Number 85 is Tommy Lee, same thing, he is a good drummer. Um, he, he did some things like uh, the gravity defined drum solos um, that he did on stage with uh, with Motley Crue. That is actually pretty good. He, it is good that he uh, still can drum and well being in the air at the same time. That is pretty good. He is a pretty uh, talented musician, but again, um, Thomas Hawk fucking destroys Tommy D. It is not even funny. Number 84 is John uh, Stanier. Not sure. Number 83 is Ronald Shannon Jackson. Number 82 is Glenn Koch. Number 81 is uh, J.R. Robinson. Number 80 is Steve Jordan. What is Keith Richards doing there? What the fuck? Uh, number 79 is Mick Avery. Number 78 is Mickey Waller. Number 77 is Mo Tucker. Number 76 is Earl Young. Number 75 is Earl Hudson. Number 74 is Michael Shreve. Number 73 is Pete Thomas. Number 72 is James Diamond Williams. Number 71 is Butch Trucks and JMO. Number 70 is Tommy Ramone, and I believe this is the drummer of the Ramones. Yeah. Not the biggest fan of the Ramones, really repetitive. Um, he is a bit the same like Phil Rudd, but only a bit faster. So again, Thomas Hawk fucking destroys you. He is more iconic, but Thomas Hawk just obliterates everything you have ever done in your career. Yeah, um, not, not the biggest Ramones fans, by the way. Uh, number 69 is Dill Crover. Number 68 is Jerome Bigfoot Braley. Number 67 is Craig Erico. Number 66 is Kenny Aronoff. Number 65 is Slide Dunbar. Number 64 is Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Again, Chad Smith is a good drummer. He is really basic though. He's a bit like Phil Rudd and Tommy Ramone, but a bit in the middle, I guess. Tommy Ramone is a bit more fast and Phil Rudd is really slow. Chad Smith is in the middle of that, so he is one of the most basic drummers I've, uh, I've known. Uh, I know personally because um, you have diverse drummers, you have drummers that just abuse the fucking, uh, the cymbal stuff like that, that abuse the, um, uh, the, the blast beat stuff like that, that is really ugly I think, if you're just spamming the blast beats over and over again. 
But Chessmith is just one of those drummers that doesn't really do anything. He uh, adds he adds to the funk element of uh, of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. But besides that, he doesn't really do anything. Uh, but do basic drumming. So again, Thomas Hawk fucking destroys you. <coughs> I'm just saying. A uh, good drummer, but yeah, he he just fucking obliterates you. Number sixty three is Dennis Chambers. Number sixty two, uh, sixty two. <coughs> Excuse me, Tony John Thompson. Number 61 is Clem Burke. Number 6 is Mick Fle uh, Fleet. Mick Fleetwood. There we are. Uh, good drummer. I, I like the I, I like Fleetwood Mac. Not the biggest fan of them. Uh, the drummer is alright though, but a bit basic like Chet Smith. Chet Smith, some people can be pissed about that that I say that. Mick, um, Mick Fleetwood is alright, but not one of the most diverse drummers out there he is good don't get me wrong but they are certainly better drummers out there number 59 is jim gordon uh, number 58 is sheila e number 57 is manu kache number 56 is richie hayward number 55 is max weinberg and i believe he's from the village voice and Bruce Springsteen, uh, yeah, I don't like the uh, uh, the drumming, but I can't really hear it if Bruce Springsteen is saying "Born in the USA." Yeah, if if Bruce uh, Springsteen begins to sing, I can't hear jack shit of the other instruments. That is the main problem I have with uh, Bruce Springsteen, the band, and with the artist himself, that his singing is just horrible and it is all over the place and. Yeah, I'm not a fan of him if you didn't know that already, but uh, yeah, I can't hear the drumming for Jack shit because Bruce Springsteen is fucking whining all the time. Number 54 is Amir Questlove Thompson. Number 53 is Jimmy Chamberlain. Number 52 is Matt Cameron. I've heard of the name though, but I... Oh, from... Uh... Oh shit, from, from Soundgarden, one of my favorites. Yeah, I love... Um... Love Matt Cameron, love uh, Soundgarden, great band. Matt, Cam Matt Cameron is a tremendous drummer. He is really, um, he keeps the pace with the other instruments, but at the same time he shows a bit more, he has a bit more flash. So definitely a talented drummer and he can be on the list, a great drummer. I'm not gonna say that Thomas Hawk will destroy you, but because Matt Cameron is, at least he fights a bit back because he is actually a good drummer. So yeah, good pick. Number 51 is Alex Van Halen, another classic act. Yeah, uh, you got a lot of Van Halen, Dave Lee Roth era at least. I love that era of, the, uh, of, of Van Halen. Um, yeah, the drummer um, of Eddie Van Halen, great one of that. Really love him, or, or the drummer. Um, yeah, yeah, actually the drummer. Yeah, um, great drummer, brother of Eddie Van Halen, of course, one of the best guitars of all time. Influential stuff like that. But yeah, great pick. Love Van Halen, Dave Lee Roth era. I cannot stress it out enough. Um, number 50 is Cozy Paul. Number uh, 49 is Fini Koluachi. Kolauta, something like that. Number 48 is John Drumbo French. Number 47 is Dave Lombardo. And yeah, I predicted this one. Dave Lombardo is a legend. He is a great drummer. Yeah, uh, you gotta love him. I actually don't know if Gary King is on this. No, he actually isn't. Or maybe this this Gary King had ever brown hair in his career. Don't know, but don't really care. But um, yeah, Dave Lombardo is a legend. He is definitely the most talented artist uh, musician of Slayer. So he left, of course, because repetitive as hell band. Um, so yeah, I really love the drumming by Dave Lombardo. It can be a bit repetitive at times, but it is fast, it is technical, and it is really influential. So you got a lot of Dave. Uh, we have another Dave on the list. Number forty-six is Dave Gary uh, Gary Baldy, whatever. Number forty-five is Billy Cobham. Number forty-four is Jelly Ellison. Number 43 is Phil Collins, and yeah, he is a great drummer, don't get me wrong. I'm not the biggest fan of his uh, of his singing, because, yeah, uh, Peter Gabriel era is best era. I don't like the Phil Collins era that much. Yeah, um, he, he, he was a good drummer, 
but I wouldn't put him in top 50 or something. He is good, don't get me wrong. He is influential, but not one of the best. Bit overrated, but still a talented one at that. Number 42, Bill Ward. Are you fucking kidding me? One of the best drummers of heavy metal, one of the most influential of all time is number 42. Go figure. Yeah, I love his drumming. If you uh, look at the Warpix live version at 1970, if you look at that version, and um, yeah, then you're gonna say to me, yeah, why is he number 42? And that is a really good question. Rolling Stone fucked it up once again. And I'm gonna compare every, uh, Every further pick with Bill Ward because Bill Ward is a fucking god on the drum kit. Just his uh, how technical he can play, how how on point he can play with uh, a song like Black Sabbath that he uh, is a bit more quiet because the song is also quiet. And then those fast moments like on War Pigs, one of the best drummers of all time. Bill Ward should be way higher on the list. No, 42 is fucking bullshit. Number 41 is uh, Carter Bowford. Number 40 is Jack the Jonet. Number 39 is Raymond Tiki Fullwood. Number 38 is Jim Keldner. Number 37 is Jeff Poor Caro. Number 36 is Steve Smith. From. Oh, from uh, Journey. Journey. Yeah, Journey. I, I like Journey, but not above Bill Ward. That is bull. Bill Ward fucking destroys you. Number 35 is Fred Below. Number 34 is Mickey Hart and Bill Cruzman. Number 33 is Tony Allen. Number 32 is James Getson. Number 31 is Roger Hawkins. Number 30 is um, Clifton James. Number 29 is Carlton Barrett. Number 28 is Carmine uh, Eppes. Number 27 is Dave Grohl. I like Dave Grohl. Uh, he is really uh, diverse in his drumming. He can really drum wild, so I like his drumming style. Um, yeah, actually one of the best, I think. Dave Grohl is a legend. He um, yeah, he is in multiple bands, I believe them. Crooked Vultures, Foo Fighters and Nirvana, of course. So yeah, I actually like Dave Grohl a hell of a lot. Yeah, um, not the biggest fan of his um, later stuff. Well, Foo Fighters is good. Damn Crooked Fulcher was only one thing. But with Nirvana, it was, of course, at his, uh, at his peak, I think. But yeah, legendary drummer. Yes, number 26, Danny Carey. Oh, I, I mean, I, I love Dave Grohl, don't get me wrong, but Danny Carey is fucking amazing. Uh, just his drumming overall, just how, how diverse he can be on tool records, it is amazing and I'm really glad that he made the list. Rolling Stone, you did one thing good for once, thank you. Danny Carey is an absolute legend, I love his drumming on um, on the Anima record, on Lateralis, it is, it is on the other dimension. On 10,000 days, uh, 10, days, it is great as well. Danny Carey is an absolute legend and of course on the debut record, Undertale. Um, yeah, I really love the tool discography. It is short, but amazing. Uh, Danny Carey is one hell of a diverse drummer. And uh, yeah, actually he's one of the biggest influences for me, at least. Maybe I want to pick up a kit because of Danny Carey, because he is such a legend. Amazing, man. Uh, I, I love his down-to-earth persona and just love uh, Danny Carey, man. Great person, great drummer. Number 25 is Earl Palmer. Number 24 is Steve Gatt. Number 23 is Elvin Jones. Number 22 is Levin Helm. Number 21 is Ian Pace. Number 20 is Bernard Purdy. Yeah, and Ian Pace actually from Deep Purple. Uh, yeah. Before I go on, but uh, but yeah, Deep Purple is a leg legendary band. Really love the band Ian Pace. Uh, yeah, I actually thought I heard that name before, so I uh, paused it for a bit. But yeah, legendary drummer, of course, love the Deep Purple 60s, 70s era. Not the biggest fan of everything after that. Um, but, but yeah, a great drummer, really love him. And well, he is in a really great band. So you gotta love Deep Purple, right? Yeah, number 20, like I said, Bernard Purdy. Number 19, Tony Williams. Number 18, Joseph Zigaboo, Modelist. Number 17, Barry Bozio. Number 16, Bill Bruford. 
from I've heard that name before, but no, nothing I guess. Number 15 is Buddy Rich, really old band. Um, yeah, so not the biggest fan of really, you know, um, old bands like 50s and stuff because uh, their, their drumming is really simplistic, but it is influential, so I can get why it's on the list because of uh, influence. Number 14, Ringo Starr, I knew it. Ringo Starr is a great drummer, don't get me wrong, but even the Beatles said that Ringo isn't the greatest drummer in the Beatles, so. <laughs> A uh, great interview. Uh, love Ringo Starr, by the way. Love the Beatles, but um, yeah, I, I think he should be a bit lower because he is a good drummer, but not in the top 20. Well, he, he can be, but not as high as this. Uh, number 13 is DJ Fontana, and he is, I believe, the drummer of Elvis Presley, so um yeah whatever i'm not a fan of elvis presley his drumming was amazing though on hound dog what, what he uh, could achieve um in the 50s already so yeah i i like dj fontana i like his drumming style he is definitely one of the most diverse uh players in elvis presley so that says a lot number 12 is charlie watts from i believe yeah from the rolling stones so why, why Charlie Watts is only uh, not number two, that is beyond me, but um, yeah. You, you just got a lot of the Rolling Stones. Uh, Charlie Watts is an amazing drummer. He is still in the band, I believe, to this day, together with <coughs> uh, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger. Uh, Brian Jones, was, of course, passed away, unfortunately. And there's one more member that I don't know the bassist, but I believe he left, but I'm not sure. But yeah, Rolling Stones, great band. Charlie Watts is a tremendous drummer, and I'm happy that he made. Well, of course he's gonna make the list. He is really influential, and the site is named Rolling Stone, so go fucking figure. Number eleven is Benny Benjamin. Number ten is Stuart Copeland. From uh oh from from the police yeah, uh, actually. Uh, uh, Stuart Copeland is one of the secret of weapons of the police because usually when people think about the the police they think about the guitar riffs and the bass lines from uh, Sting but Stuart Copeland is easily the best um, musician out of the police he's a great drummer he's really diverse he has a really big drum kit I believe so he can achieve a lot but yeah Stuart Copeland is one hell of a tremendous drummer and I'm really happy that he's on the list Love the police, by the way. Number nine is L. Jackson Jr. Number eight is Mitch Mitchell. Yeah, and he is from Jimi Hendrix. That is a really uh, confusing name, Mitch Mitchell. But um, yeah, he is great uh, on his earlier, re well, earlier. He is only on early records, but there we are. But <clears throat> just his drumming style blended in with amazing guitar skills from J Jimi Hendrix is tremendous and I'm not sure if Mitch Mitchell still making music I hope he is because he is a tremendous drummer so let me know if he still is in a band or something because his drumming was amazing so I hope he is but otherwise unfortunate number seven is Gene Krupa number six is Clyde S uh, Stubblefield and John Jumbo Starks <coughs> Excuse me. Number five is Hal Blaine. Number four is Neil Peart. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how how can I forget Neil Peart? Holy shit. Uh, Neil Peart is, um, in my opinion, the best drummer of all time. I don't know how I, how I could forget Neil Peart, but he is godlike. He is uh, in Rush, of course, and just his drumming overall with Alex Lifeson's guitar and. Um, the key and the keyboard and um, the and the bass playing by um, Geddy Lee is one of the most the greatest trios ever. Just how they play their instrument. They're they're both or um, every uh, every three every single one of them is seen as the best musician on their respected instrument. And there's one more band like that, but we will get into that later on number one, I think. But well. Well, um, yeah, 100% is gonna be number one. But Neil Peart is, in my opinion, the best drummer. He is my favorite drummer of all time. Just how complex he can be um, when he was in the uh, 70s. Uh, just his drumming overall is just 
it is jaw dropping. I can't really explain it how he drums. He just uh, when you see him, um, well, of course, when you see Mike Porno, you can definitely you can definitely see how similar the two drum. Mike Porno is a bit of a modern Neil Peart, but Neil Peart, uh, yeah, you you know what they say. You can beat the classics, and Neil Peart is definitely a classic definitely and he should be in uh, number two or something or number three i don't know who's number three i don't know i know the top two though but neil peart is in my opinion the best drummer of all time and he he should be a spot higher i think well he should be number two in my opinion or maybe even number one but hey that is just my opinion rush great band check them out number three is ginger baker from i believe oh from eric clapton um yeah uh, he is one of the most influential. He is a great drummer, don't get me wrong, but Ginger Baker is also a bit overrated, like Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton has basically all the all the guitars, all the bass, all the drummers that are good. They are talented, but they are overrated in a bit. But he is still a really good drummer, don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, Eric Clapton is just tremendously overrated, I'm, I'm just saying. And number two is of course Keith Moon, really predictable. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love Keith Moon, don't get me wrong. He, he is a, gr a great drummer. It is unfortunately that, um, that he passed away of uh, alcohol poisoning. Yeah, I really love The Who, by the way. Uh, great band. And yeah, Keith Moon is an absolute legend, love him. But of course, really obvious number one, it is John Bonham. Who else could it be? John Bonham is an absolute legend. Um, yeah, just everyone in Led Zeppelin is an absolute legend. Uh, Robert Plant, one of the greatest singers of all time. Um, Jimmy Page, one of the best guitars and singer-songwriters of all time. John Paul Jones, one of the most diverse... Um, just one of the most diverse members of the band. Plays uh, keyboards and plays the bass. Does some backup vocals here and there. I think John Paul Jones is my favorite member because he, he he plays every instrument so just breathtakingly well. And John Bonham is of course the obvious uh, pick for people that uh, just just love a great drummer because he's all in your face. He just plays really technical, really wild. Um, I I actually heard from well of course Alex that um, well from. He inspired me to do this, this entire series, stuff like that. But he said in one video that uh, actually there was um, that John Bonham played so wild on the drums that um, that his double bass that his double uh, bass pedal was taken away because he just played that wild because uh, that is why he doesn't play with um, a double bass because um, it is called like that, uh, right? Double bass. Something like that, with the uh, double bass patterns and stuff like that. He doesn't play with that because he's just that good of a drummer. And yeah, John Bonham is definitely uh, one of the best drummers. He is the best drummer of all time. Although I think a new pair is slightly better, but John Bonham is certainly one of the greatest, uh, just the greatest drummer drummer that we ever had and probably will ever get ever. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this list. Let me know your favorite drummers of all time. Yeah, mine definitely being Danny Carey, Mike Portnoy, <coughs> Neil Peart, John Bonham, Keith Moon. You know, the, the obvious picks, but uh, they're obvious for a reason, right? But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel, the honest notes. Let me know what you thought of the list. Let, uh, let, uh, let me know your own list in the comments down below, like I said, and enjoy the video. Or, well... You did, if you have gotten to the end, but um, have a nice day, God bless, stay safe, take care, and yeah, enjoy your day, and enjoy the videos for now.